what's up everyone please before you start make sure you subscribe like share and comment it will help me a lot and i will appreciate it please don't hesitate to do it so as you can see my computer is stuck here this is an old thinkpad that has nvidia drivers so if you have a similar computer that has nvidia drivers and you have installed the prop the proprietary one the proprietary ver version of nvidia drivers and then you got this follow me to to show you how you can uh, restore your computer to work with the gui okay so the uh, the first thing we try to do if you can is to change to another tty this is the tty that's related to the display manager okay there are if you know six by default on almost any linux distro there are six tty's you can change between them by pressing Control, alt and then something between f2 up to f6 choose whichever you like in my case when i press f2 here i can change to another tty try to do the same at least like try Control Alt F2, F3, here it changes to become F3, F4, whichever works for you mostly if you can, if you are using Arch Linux, the default TTY for GUI is the first one. If you have NVIDIA drivers, remember this, and you installed the proprietary drivers and you got the same issue, follow me so I can show you how to do exactly to solve this issue. You log in. Yeah, I guess I forgot. Let me log in as root. It has been so long since I used this computer. That's why it's like I forgot. But I'm sure of what I have here. Yes. So I installed NVIDIA drivers from the AUR because this computer is old as I told you I believe you will be in the same situation in which you have to install from the AUR in my case the issue wasn't about choosing the driver sometimes your issue is about choosing which package to install as a driver but in my case it is not it's not like that in my case it's just because uh, the kernel modules didn't su succeed to compile when I want when the kernel is updated so we should look for the driver by typing yay dash big Q try to install yay if you don't have it you can see my videos about that I, I will put in the description and then grab Nvidia yes like this so that one it's nvidia dash 340xx dash lts dash dkms that one is for the uh, rebuilding the kernel modules whenever the kernel is updated and that's what helps you up update the system without uh, breaking your your uh, display drivers your nvidia drivers let's try to remove it this way i'm using here the gpm it's a useful tool let me delete this so all it takes here yeah, we cannot find it. I guess we should use yay, not rs here, but pick r first. I'm wrong. So if your system is running NVIDIA, NVIDIA drivers, is using NVIDIA uh, GPU and you install it, the proprietary ones, and you did not choose the correct package or there is something wrong when upgrading the kernel, you may face this error and this is how to solve it this is one of the methods okay because sometimes like in my case the kernel comp uh, 
the kernel modules did not compile successfully so I'm gonna show you in my case I need the, the proprietary drivers just in case you asked I need it because there is an issue with my display and that issue is solved only when installing the proprietary one now we reboot the system and I'm gonna show you or maybe we can start the display manager here Nvidia yes not Nvidia but grab does it work now we better restart the system anyway so now it's restarting let's enter here this is the message it's supposed to disappear now and we get our display manager this is the key of the error look how it has become I mean the main sign that you have similar error to me because you may wonder maybe it's not the same first you need to make sure that you are installing the proprietary drivers of Nvidia it can be a wrong uh, choice which package to ins install which I may explain in a future video how to choose which package to install to upgrade the system successfully whenever needed because the kernel uh, modules will be rebuilt every time you upgrade the system all right i guess there is something about the blacklist it's nvidia configurations so we go to slash etc slash mod probe okay not here uh, sxorg speak x11 xorg 20 nvidia.conf so here is it this one so here I guess we should remove the configuration file that was made uh, during the installation of NVIDIA drivers in my case is this one then 20 this, this is the name of the file then we reboot again so after removing the configuration file that was in slash etc slash x11 slash xorg the path i forgot what it is exactly i was able to start the display manager or display server let me show you the command we should re remove Nvidia driver this one in my case in your case you need to look what is the name slash etc slash x11 x uppercase slash xorg.conf.d slash 20 dash nvidia.conf remove this file and I was able as you can see here to get my xorg running okay that was how you can solve the issue that I show, I've shown you just in case you got this one okay now I need to check if there is any issue with my display or desktop manager I guess the video has reached its end thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like share and comment and see you